Imperfectly Perfect. If you're new, um, I just recently changed my channel name from Trashley's Treasures to Imperfectly Perfect. So you might have noticed that change or not, but either way, um, I'm glad you're here and I hope you're doing well and having a good day. Today is Friday and I ran into the Dollar Tree because I needed a binder. Basically, I needed a binder because I'm putting together a recipe book. Stay tuned for that later in the video. And of course, I found other things. I had to peruse the whole store. So um, I just wanted to share what I got. But I guess first and foremost, I did find the binders. However, I was a little bit disappointed because I plan on, have, I have a cover actually that I have to print off and I can't insert it. So I'm hoping with a razor blade I can slice this open. But if not, I'm gonna just go to like the FedEx store. But I like the print on this one. This binder <clears throat> reminded me of the 90s, like so much with the black and the smiley face uh, limited to. It's weird. I like this one more than that. They have these weird smiley faces with like goofy lips on that one. But I mean, they're still good. This one matches the aesthetic of my ch channel more. But for a recipe book, like I just wanted a plain black one and they didn't have them, unfortunately. They had all the ones, I guess, from back to school. And then they had these same prints, type of prints in like the flimsy uh, binder. And then this is a fine, this is the reason why I decided I needed to make this video because again, I thought I was just getting binders, but I found this sign very comparable in size, if not the same exact size as the kind sold at Hobby Lobby for, I don't know, 14 bucks, even at 40% off, you're looking at like seven, eight bucks. So yeah, a little tabletop sign great size. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I wasn't going to buy it, but I knew I had to share it. There had a, there was only one style at my particular store, but it seemed like this was like one of the last ones. So I'm going to keep that up here. And then this was the, another reason I had to make this video. Full size Arm & Hammer disinfecting wipes. They're saying that this is um, pure and simple cleaning. So what I did... I pointed it out the, to another woman in the store. She was an older woman and I said, here, look, this is a great deal. And she really appreciated it. I bought three of them because I have three toilets in the house. And um, these are the types of products that I will like to use on the toilet. So I can just wipe and then toss in the trash. Um, other surfaces like around the sink and other parts of the toilet it, and in the bathroom and all over the house is kind of like less icky to me, if you will. So I'm fine with like throwing those washcloths and reusing them um, in the washing machine. So, but for the toilet, uh, I don't know. I'm a little bit kind of skeptical about that. They're at least like throwing it in with other rags that I use elsewhere. So, oh, and then I guess I did get sheet protectors from the Dollar Tree. These are so flimsy. Like if you're looking for good quality, I guess you have to go to like Walmart Target. Uh, I love sh putting things in sheet protectors. So I'm gonna use these for my recipe book. And I guess back to the recipe book, I get these uh, notif notifications from coupons from Kroger in the mail. And they had this recipe. Oh my God. So they're calling this a apple cinnamon roll cake. I don't know why I needed to look at that because literally I printed out the recipe right here. I'm trying to make sure I don't show my address on that thing. Um, and this is just in a cheapo Dollar Tree one, but I like it to be when I can pull it out of the binder. And then um, when you're cooking and when I decide to make this, my hands will be greasy and I can just give the sheet a nice wipe down and the, the piece of paper doesn't get mangled from me cooking on it. All right, so yeah, that's what I got for my recipe book. Maybe I'll share that, maybe I won't. I did find a t-shirt, very weird material. It's like, uh, not ribbed material, uh, some sort of knit. 
but it's a medium and I've been wearing, although it's started to cool down a little bit, I've been wearing tank tops working out. And then these were a new find in the kitchen section. I was getting thrilled with some of the kitchen finds. So these oven mitts, silicone. So you could throw these in the dishwasher. It doesn't say that, but I'll, I'll put them to the test. But these are what I need. I guess not exactly, but I might. I want the ones that just stay on my Le Creuset pot. But these ones are just good to grab and go. And if they get dirty, because I buy the fabric. I have so many of the fabric pot holders and they get dirty. Like, you know, they get dirty. And then even if you try your best to keep them clean and throw, you're not trying to like on the daily clean your freaking pot holders. So I think this might solve my pot holder dilemma and just being able to sanitize them in the dishwasher. So keep your eye out for these. I only saw them in the gray, but that matches the aesthetic of my kitchen. I could be wrong though. And I had been seeing these, I put some labels on here so you kind of can't see it, but it's supposed to hook into your fridge and you can store 12 eggs. They have another variation of this and then they had clear plastic bins. This one seemed like it would be the sturdiest, but it does not fit in my double wide refrigerator, the shelf. It just ends up popping popping up. So I don't know, maybe it'll work for you. Maybe it won't. I'm probably going to just, uh, I don't know, donate it. They had all different types of socks. Uh, I've seen Cheez-Its, Ritz crackers. Um, oh my God. They had so many weird ones. Double bum, yum, bubble gum. They're really good quality socks. They're definitely not Dollar Tree brand. Uh, I believe I've actually seen these at Walmart before. So pick these up and get these for stocking stuffers. And then I showed these in like a small little short video the other day or in the front of a video the other day, but I didn't buy it. And I ended up going back to get this, the two in one sponge window washer. It was at the front of one of my videos before I did a haul, but I figured I would use this for my mirrors, spray the solution, wipe, and then turn it around and squeegee. So you can see here, hopefully yeah so i thought that would be helpful and it does attach to the the sticks that um you buy the for the brooms and everything like that from the dollar tree so that's good to keep in mind and then we're almost done here and then this was one of the things on my list i needed baby wipes i use these um to wipe the dog's butts and paws sometimes they're Poop can be a little bit sloppy. So yeah, so I like to use that for them. And then this was, I noticed a couple of new things in their hardware section, specifically these heavy duty knobs. Um, I need a spot to hang up our towels. Oh, no, that one not fit. Okay, because you know what? They also had same color with them and this matched my style. They had um knobs uh, or handles for kitchen cabinets and my cabinets don't have handles and i've kind of been going back and forth if i wanted to put any up but i feel like it's kind of more clean and simple and farmhousey with no handles but i don't know these dollar tree ones are pretty solid and this i mean this feels solid unfortunately they don't give any details on the back about the weight capacity there was a hook that I had in my cart previously until I found these. It was like a blue filigree teal color. And it said, actually, it holds up to 20 pounds. So that was more than what I needed. Um, but unfortunately, I decided these ones were more the aesthetic of my bathroom. And to end today's video, I realized I was sitting in a new spot in the house and that this book was here. And I actually have the bookmark inside from when I was a kid and there's one bookmark inside. I used to love these Shel Sil Shel Silverstein books. So this is definitely over 20, oh, probably over 25 years old, this book, I would imagine from like second grade. And I don't know, this doesn't look like me, but who's ever left this bookmark in here, the poem is short and sweet. So I'm going to end my video today with this poem. It's called Magic. 
Sandra seen a leprechaun, Eddie touched a troll. Laurie danced with witches once, Charlie found some goblins gold. Donald heard a mermaid sing, Susie spied an elf, but all the magic I have known, I've had to make myself. So I'll keep you on that. That was a great poem. Again, Shel Silverstein, Where the Sidewalk Ends. Maybe I'll do that at the end of more videos. And I kind of filmed this video differently, making it seem more like you were just sitting across the table from me, the kitchen table, because that's where I'm sitting. So hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.